Hello everyone. Today we announced Hikma's strong 2021 financial results, marking another successful year of solid growth and continued strategic momentum. Our injectables, generics and branded business each performed well, achieving good revenue and profit growth and making important investment for the future. And our performance was strong despite the pandemic, thanks to the breadth and growth of our product portfolio, our flexible manufacturing capabilities and excellent relationship with our customers. Importantly, we were able to maintain a consistent supply of essential medicines thanks to our strong global operations and high quality standards. Our injectables business performed well in 2021, growing in all three regions and made excellent strategic progress. In the US, we announced the acquisition of Custafa, which will broaden our portfolio of marketed products, bring promising new pipeline opportunities and expand our R&D capabilities. We also enhanced our product pipeline by signing two biosimilar deals establishing a near-term entry point in the important U.S. growth area. We are also making a good progress rolling out biosimilars in MENA, where we have expanded our agreement with Celtion for subcutaneous form of Remsema, the first of its kind. Lastly, we launched a sterile injectable compounding business in the U.S. with a new state-of-the-art facility focused on producing high-quality ready to administer medicines for hospitals. This is a natural extension of our injectables business, where we can bring our expertise and our relentless pursuit of quality to fulfill a rapidly growing customer need. Our generics business delivered excellent results in 2021, thanks to a good performance from new launches and a continued focus on cost. We successfully launched generic adver discus, demonstrating our ability to bring complex products to the market. We also expanded our specialty brand business in the US with the approval and launch of Claxado, our branded 8 mg naloxone nasal spray used to reverse the effect of opioid overdose. This product provides an, an important new treatment option for addressing the devastating impact of U.S. opioid epidemic. These are just two of nearly 100 products we are manufacturing at our large state-of-the-art facility in Columbus, Ohio. Our branded business continued to grow. I'm pleased to note that in 2021, we moved up one position and are now ranked the fourth largest pharmaceutical company in the MENA region where we operate amongst the large global innovative firms. Our teams in MENA are focusing on the quality end of the market and the lion's share of our growth in 2021 came from medicines for chronic diseases in line with our strategy. Hello everyone. As Sigi said, this has been another excellent year of progress. We grew group core revenue by 9% and group core EBIT an impressive 12%. All three of our businesses contributed to this performance. Injectables core revenue was up 8% and core operating profit up 5%. Breaking this down by region, the US, which had a strong 2020 comparator, grew core revenue 4%. We had 15 new launches, which helped drive this good performance. In MENA, we grew 4% on constant currency basis, with our biosimilar portfolio again having a good year. And in Europe, core revenue was up 13% in constant currency, with a good performance from our own products, recent launches, and continued demand for contract manufacturing. Our generic business grew core revenue 10%, and core operating profit an impressive 25%. This result was thanks to strong performance from profitable new launches, which more than offset increased price erosion. Branded revenue grew 9%, or 5% in constant currency, 
while core operating profit decreased slightly due to foreign exchange headwinds. Within the markets we operate, we saw a particularly good performance in Algeria, where our new oncology plant is now up and running and our refreshed business model is delivering results. We also had a very strong cash flow performance in 2021 with over $630 million cash flow from operations. This has contributed to the ongoing reduction in our leverage, which stood at 0.6 times net debt to EBITDA at year end. The share buyback we have announced today reflects our financial strength and the board's confidence in the prospects of the business. Finally, we are pleased to be guiding for another year of revenue growth in each of our businesses. In a volatile environment, we are demonstrating the stability of our business and ability to maintain growth. At Hikma, we believe performing well is directly tied to acting responsibly for our people, patients, communities, and the planet. We have identified four focus areas where we can drive positive impact. By advancing health, and well-being, by empowering our people through our diverse and inclusive culture, by minimizing our impact on the environment, and by committing to the highest standards of quality and always acting with integrity and the highest ethical standards. And I am pleased to announce that we have set a target to reduce our greenhouse gas emission by 25% by 2030. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our people. Our incredible team is integral to our success and I'm grateful for the continued commitment, especially during another challenging year. And thank you to all our stakeholders who support us and who inspire us to continue meeting our purpose of putting better health within reach every day. <laughs>